Are you looking for a screen recorder and video editor that's also affordable? If you saw my video on Camtasia but were not excited about the price, we're going to take a look at an alternative called Demo Creator by Wondershare. With this software, you can record your screen and then create professional grade videos quickly and easily using rich templates, visual assets, and more. It has a desktop editor for both PC and Mac, as well as an online recorder that even features the ability to import presentations, which is an excellent solution if you're looking to create online courses. Before we take a look, my name is Michelle and I've been in the marketing game for close to 20 years now, and I love to share what I've learned and the tools that I use with other entrepreneurs. So if this info resonates with you or you find it helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And be sure to check out the description on how you can get started with Demo Creator for free. And of course, if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. All right, let's dive in. All right, here we're taking our first look at Wondershare's Demo Creator. So this is the landing page that you will see. And I wanted just to call out a few things before we dive into the actual software. This is available for Mac and PCs, and you can have the online Google Chrome option as well. And as I'm seeing it, there's a few different features that you're getting with the online version versus the desktop version. We're gonna dive into the desktop version first, but I also wanted to give you a brief look at what costs for this program is. They do have a few different options, so based on what you're comfortable with, but also no availability on what platform works best for you, whether you do go for more of a one-time purchase plan or if you're looking at the cross-platform yearly plan. So as you can see though, these are both very affordable options compared to a program like Camtasia. So if you aren't ready and willing to spend hundreds of dollars a year for the software and you're looking for an option that is comparable, if not you know, more than capable with different features, then Wondershare's Demo Creator is probably a good solution to look at. Plus, they do have that free trial option so that you're gonna be able to dive in and see exactly how it works before you make that purchase. And there's just a few different call outs, you know, there'll be a watermark and there's an export length on it, but this will actually give you the ability to take a look at exactly how it functions. Okay, so enough of that, let's take a look at the actual software. So here you can see I've downloaded Demo Creator and if you have recent projects, they'll show up here. You've got two options. So you've got a straight up video editor or you can do the video recorder. The video editor works just like most other video editors. You import your media files. That can be anything from videos, audios, and images, and then you can just put them on your timeline and edit from there. We can also take a look at what that might look like, but let's start with this video recorder option because right from the start, you're asked, do you want to screen record and have your camera on it? Are you just wanting to do a camera recording or do you wanna go audio only? So you do have a few options there. I'm gonna choose the screen and camera. So here you can see that we've got our screen and camera recording preview up. And what this allows us to do is make a few selections first before we get started. So one, I've currently got this select screen option. So I get to target exactly what I want to be recorded. And the reason I like this, I like having that control over it. I like first locking in our 1920 by 1080 ratio, and then I can adjust that for however big that I want it to be. And I know that that ratio is going to stay locked in place. It's just easier when I am editing my videos later. And I can move this around, of course, just by kind of clicking or dragging that arrow. I also have the ability, and you can, you can see me here in this corner, and this is definitely a, a feature that I am really digging. I do, Camtasia does not have something like this. I can choose from the gate whether or not this little like circle inset of myself, do I want it to be more of a rectangle? I do like the circle. I can mirror if it makes sense. And then this might be for the ladies, but I have a beauty, an AI beauty filter, which is something that is definitely unique. So I can make adjustments to make sure that I look extra perfect. So anybody who's out there who definitely wants to have just a tiny little bit of a filter on 
them, you can make those adjustments while you're recording. So that's a really cool feature. I haven't seen that before and I'm definitely digging that. If you don't like it, you can turn it off. You can just click and you can toggle this off there. So we can see that I'm back to normal, not so perfect as before. But that just gives you sort of a preview. You're not going to actually see this while you're recording. So do note that this is just more of that preview that you are getting before you hit this record button down here. And then if you needed to switch between different cameras, so I have the ability to use, I'm using my FaceTime camera on my Mac, uh, but I could also, it's connected to my phone. So if I wanted to use my phone as a camera, I could do that too. Any other camera sources that you have, you could connect those. Same goes for your audio. So if you have different microphones that you wanna test out, you can do that. And then if you needed to record system audio as well, well, there is an option to capture that as well. So let's say that we want to record something. Let me bring back this window here for Wondershare and you can see that I am logged in. So I can show you a few more features. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the record button so that you can get a sense of how this looks when we are recording. So it's gonna give you a little bit of a countdown. You can hit some hotkeys to stop the video. And we've got that dotted outline to kind of preview what's being recorded. So let's go to the demo creator section and I've signed in and I'm using the demo creator online now in Google Chrome. And so you do have a few options here that weren't showing up in the desktop version. And I'm sure that those desktop versions are gonna be rolled out soon. Let's say that you are more interested in creating an online course and you want to have that PowerPoint presentation and be able to record over easily, then this is actually where you would go to go to that PowerPoint presentation setup here and you can see here's my camera again. It's going to start off with some templates. So if you want to put a little bit of extra design elements into that, you can. I'm just gonna find something maybe a little bit more neutral here and we can go to the content. So this is where you would import that PowerPoint and because I'm recording on multiple things here, I'm not gonna go through that, but I wanted to show you how that would look so that you could easily, you know, import your presentation. You can add notes here, you can talk through it and you can create those really seamless online re screen recordings where you're not having to fumble around with too many complex programs. So it just makes everything a little bit easier. Okay, so for example and editing purposes, let's say that I'm good to go with this video. So I can stop my recording just by clicking this little button here. We've got about two minutes of content and we can see that we've got our new project here has popped up. In our library, we've got our media that we've just recorded. So I'm gonna drag this right on into the timeline here. It's gonna give you a little bit of reminder of the settings that we recorded it at versus the settings of the document. And so I think that the 1920 by 1080 is the way that I wanna go. So that's what I'm gonna stick with there. Let me minimize this screen in the background so we don't have any distractions, but you can see it imported everything separately. So we've got my visual, my, my camera recording, we've got the screen recording, and then we've got the audio and the mic, and they're all on separate timelines so that we can easily make adjustments if we need to. We can also make adjustments to our workspace here so that if we are wanting to see things just a little bit bigger we we have the ability to move things around you can shrink things up you can see that we can now have a better grasp on what that looks like we've got me in the circle here also good to note that if you don't like exactly where things are are landing and you needed to move that circle that you can easily do that so if any adjustments that you need to make those are things you can do and while I've got this clicked on too, some of the other things is like, there's that AI beauty filter. So if we wanted to, to bring that back, we can definitely do that. We've got some additional options there that we can do and you can see those adjustments are being made. So if we regretted not turning that filter on in the beginning, we can still access it. No worries there. We The green screen, if you wanted to remove the background and be a little bit more transparent, I could also 
turn that on, you would need to select a color. So it would have been helpful if I had filmed in front of a green screen. So do know that you have that options. This is just an easier way to access those features. I'll collapse that too. If you want to add a border, there's a lot of opportunities here to embellish your video. So if I want to add that border to whether that be the video inset of me in the corner or even the entire video itself if you were just recording a presentation or something like that then you've got those abilities to do that too i'm going to go back to that circle inset but there's so many options to explore here with tons of little ai features that you can add easily to the videos to really take them to the next level. Let's take a little bit of a closer look to all of the other things that we have. There are templates that you can access. So if you needed to use this template and you were pulling in, you know, the video content that you had recorded or your, your camera inset, you could do that. They've got annotations, there's video effects as well, like removing objects and blurring the background. Again, there's that beauty filter. You can add more of a mosaic. There's audio effects as well. If you want to easily denoise, a lot of times when people are filming videos and they've got all that staticky background noise, they don't know how to remove it. You could do it in a click. All I would need to do is just drag that onto my audio. And now I've got that AI denoise. I can come over to my magic tools and then I can adjust that level if it's too much. Same goes from like any hissing or humming. You've got the ability to adjust all of those levels super easy. Now, as somebody who has a, a little bit more video editing experience, you know, if you were to do the same thing in Premiere Pro, you're probably going to be pulling your hair out if you're a first time video editor because it can get so complex. What Demo Creator does is just makes everything really easy so that you can drag and drop all these effects and kind of play around with the levels of things so that you can get that perfect video. There's also cursor effects if you're doing any kind of online presentations. You've got these transitions of panning and zooming. You can add additional transitions to show you what that looks like. And we really only need to do the split perhaps for our background video here. So if I select that and then you can also learn your quick keys. So this would just be the, the S key. You could click that as well. It would split the video and then you could easily add a transition so that if you want to do something like this, you can pull that transition on there and then let's take a look at what that looks like. You've got that really cool and like how that took what half of a second to pull down on there. So you get to explore through all of these even when you just look through them at this first screen, you can hit the view all and then there's lots more. So tons and tons of options. You can also set up brand kits if you're going to add anything for like openers or end credits. Those are all opportunities that you have. You can add stickers to things. There's audios and there's also additional effect packs. So too much to explore for one video, but it truly does make things very easy to work with, especially if you don't have a lot of experience with online recording software or editing software in general. Let's say that I loved my video and I was ready to export. All I would need to do is hit this export button and then I'll take a moment to log in. And then once I have successfully logged in, it's going to pull up my export options. I can give this project a name and then I get to choose my format. I get to choose my aspect ratio, resolution, where I want it to be saved. And then I have some preset settings so that if I want it to be a little bit higher, you can, this is great because then you can actually see what the file size is looking at versus when you've got that high quality, that middle quality, or a normal. It's very easy. Another amazing opportunity is that you can connect this to your YouTube channel and just share it directly there. That's so nice to have because that way you don't have to download the video and then re-upload the video. You could also do this with TikTok and Vimeo as well. So I love having those options. Those actually used to be, I used to use Vimeo a lot and it Camtasia at one point did have that Vimeo connection and and then it's it's been taken away since then so i do miss having that ability to actually share 
all close out here. Additional items that I want to call out. If you are somebody who wants to learn more and see what is all possible with Demo Creator, they do have this lovely little option. If I click on it here, it's going to pull up this creator hub and then you can explore things further and look at what other people are making with Demo Creator with educational opportunities here to learn as much as you want to about the program, which is incredible. So that if you do decide to try this and test it out, that you aren't feeling like you are completely lost and you do have resources that you can rely on. Now, if I go ahead, once I close that project, you can see that it is still here in this preview recently projects that I've edited. And if I needed to reopen it and make additional edits, I can open that right up and pick up where I left off. So let me know what you think about Demo Creator. Is there any features that you want to see a little bit more in depth? I'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.